Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another intuitive spiritual party. It's a party in the ethers, y'all. Come on in. Bring your high vibrations. Bring your good energy. Bring your beautiful spirit team. Ascended Master Energy is here in the building. Welcome to Spiritual Court, y'all. Come on in. Get the confirmations by way of clarifications by way of what it is that you already know, your higher self knows that you know because you're absolutely consistently continuing to go within so you don't have to go without. My best recommendation, take what resonates, leave the rest for somebody else to take, whoever that somebody is, make peace with that and lay it down easy peasy. Baby, please, nice and greasy. That is my best recommendation for you. You can take it or you can leave it. Whatever you decide to do, just know that I, we, I am we, meaning my soul tribe, family tree, we support you in the energy. Come on in, it's spiritual court. Mercury retrograde energy, let's get into it. If you're returning back to the channel, I hope that most of you are my beautiful soul tribe family, at least 99.9% .9 of you are, that I love and you love and I love you and you love me and we love each other and it's beautiful. We're just doing this in the beautiful ascended master type of an energy I just heard. Walking through the lion's gate, having a party as we stroll and roll through the lion's portal by way of the lion's gate. It's so good, isn't it, to have your heart weighed? Don't that feel good to know that my yacht and whatnot is spinning a block and thought is spinning a block and we're time travelers and again, our resumes are looking really, really good. It really does look good in spiritual court where you got recording angels that are giving you a report card and your report card looks really, really good in the presence of the divine. All the ascended masters are here in spiritual court. If you've come back, then you already got that. You already knew that I was gonna say that because you've been saying it to yourself. This is confirmation. Shout out to the person that had a dream about this reading before it happened. Shout out to the person that saw me in the dream flipping the cards. Yes, that was me and that was you. And here we are. It is deja mother freaking boo. I'm so happy. I do have spiritual bars. I also have a shuffle game that has been somewhat under spiritual deliberation, but at least according to me, it is the best shuffle game in the game by way of the shuffle gang, gang, gang. Shout out to the people that shuffle the cards with good intentions, that call truth and clarity into spiritual court, dedicating their cards, their hands, their spiritual work. I just heard the body of your spiritual work is dedicated to the divine. Look at you out here looking good, healing and manifesting at will. You are my beautiful soul tribe family and I love you so freaking much. Listen, soul tribe, love. Love you, Soul Tribe. Come on in here. Let's just get to the spiritual work. Congratulations to the people that survive the long intros. You have been sworn into spiritual court. Bring your high vibrations. I send you peace, love, and light. For those people that are projecting any evil eye, nasty intentions, my love and light shall return unto me, unto we. We meaning my beautiful Soul Tribe family. And that's just what it is here in spiritual court. Ashe, Selah, Amin, and so mote be. And so it is. Listen. Holy Spirit, beautiful angels, ascended masters, what is it that you want? Ooh, I got lightning bugs outside, y'all. Ooh, lightning bugs. Spiritual meaning behind lightning bugs. I know in Japan, it's something about an awakening and the spirit's awakening. Okay, so spirits of the light, I just heard. Okay, okay, light bringers, light slingers. I see you, hold on, holy spirits, what's going on? What is it that we need to see? Something about forging documents, y'all. So watch your documentation. Whatever somebody's trying to do, they're already caught up for it. They could be trying to do something else, okay? Scamming some other stuff, whatever this is. But this has come out consistently 
over the past three days, especially during this retrograde energy. This could also be some type of past energy, something that somebody did in the past illegally, okay, where they could have tried to forge your name onto something. They're already caught up. Spiritual police is on that ass, and the police police could be on that ass. As they say, by way of C-O-M-P-T-O-N, one time is on that ass. We used to call the police one time. We still do, and so shall it be. Yeah, the one time is on that ass. Forging documents, checks, signatures, stealing money. Somebody's out here, uh, child possibly wearing a hat and some glasses. Who are they hiding from? Okay, they could have been watching you and somebody's watching them. Somebody's under investigation. Child, take that as it resonates. I can't say I'm going to do a whole reading on that energy because I feel like somebody sealed their fate. Okay, something they did in the past has come back to haunt them. Yeah, somebody is still trying to cover up something though. Whatever it is. Uh, they made a big purchase, okay, possibly with something that has something to do with you and somebody was trying to cross you up, get you tied up, hemmed up in some type of situation or circumstance and it's just not working. Holy Spirit, anything else we need to know by current energy? A Capricorn could be significant, okay, so take that as it resonates. I just heard a family member. This could be a court case, court situation. Somebody might be from Texas. I don't know that Texas... Uh, license plate is sticking out mississippi and texas okay arkansas okay yeah somebody is uh or georgia could be significant but big texas energy forging documents somebody's trying to create some type of contract clarify that what is that about holy spirit because you're celebrating something so the fact that this lion's gate is bringing in balance and restoration. It's throwing somebody off their kilter, but the scales are tipping in your favor and the scales are being made uh, balanced, okay? Which means that anything that was done in the dark that was wrong is coming to the light. Uh, whether you were aware of this or maybe you just didn't give a damn, okay? Your dreams are coming true, okay? So whoever this Capricorn is, forging documents, somebody was trying to do something with your information, documentation beats conversation. Child, that ass is caught up. Somebody is all the way caught up, okay? I just heard paper trail, okay? So if you were under investigation and didn't realize it, whoever this investigator is, they're realizing that you're innocent, okay? Or they were watching you and you were unaware and they're also watching these people. So somebody could have said that you were somewhere that you were not. I am not connected to these people is what I just heard. Type of an energy is could be what you're giving off by way of energy. You're not connected to these people. Are these the cards that I want to use, y'all? Not yet. I just heard. Okay, maybe something hasn't come into manifestation yet. This could be something that is happening currently, actively. Somebody's being investigated. They forged some type of documents, okay? Whatever this is, it's over. Ooh, Mason Eastern Star Child. Don't tell me this is somebody in some type of group. Whatever this is, it's over, okay? Yeah, the truth is coming out. Look, I can't make this up. Ace of Swords and the Three of Swords. Three of Swords represents my yacht energy, Libra energy. Something's being made fair. I just heard in order for you to win, a whole bunch of people are losing. And that's just what it is. Somebody's got to take the L, okay? Whichever L that is for you. You're taking love and life and laughter and somebody's taking a loss, losing, and baby, they have lost, okay? How many L's was that? Losing, lost, and a loser? Okay, yeah, triple L, triple threat, honey. I just heard... What is this? Because I didn't want to read the energy, but I'm going to be obedient to source. Thank you, source. Can I just have commercial breaks as I channel this energy by way of what it is that I have to do? Secrets are coming out. Okay, this could have been a family member, an in-law, like a brother-in-law, sister-in-law, somebody that is an in-law, mother-in-law, auntie-in-law, somebody-in-law, or somebody could be in-law, okay? Paralegal energy I just heard or they just understand documentation Somebody thought that they were above the law. Somebody thought they could alter some type of documentation What the hell is going on? Holy Spirit, but your dreams are coming true. 
I just heard it would have been impossible for you to be in two places at one time. So somebody was trying to say that you were involved in something that you weren't because the timeline is not lining up. So somebody's lying. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> dreams coming true because you're somewhere manifesting your dreams, honey. Dreams are coming in. You're celebrating. This is wish fulfillment, energy, achievement, divine collective energy. What's going on? What's good? Forging documents. Who is this person? What's going on? Expose the circumstance, please. And thank you. Thank you in advance. Ancestors, please allow me to see what it is I need to see and hear what I need to hear by way of what it is that the gods want me to see. So says source of all things. Direct connection. Show me what I need to see. Somebody was following you, following me. I just heard they're following me, following me. They could be following you literally in the 3D or they could be following you on social media under some type of fake ass account you're coming through as solo bolo virgo energy independent self-sufficient in that order okay yeah listen something about your abundance okay so you're not coming off as somebody that needs to commit any type of crime uh by way of investigative energy you know it's like with an investigation 8 33 on the clock i can't make it up uh, something's being made fair as above so below the ascendant masters are intervening on your behalf to clear your name clear your reputation it's like in order to um, have some type of a crime if it involves money finances uh, come through Tuskegee English pre-law you know I went to Tuskegee for English pre-law and I realized the justice system was crooked so then I went to spiritual court that's a whole other story for a whole other day nevertheless Listen, in order to prove that somebody has committed a crime, you have to create some type of a, a, a understanding or present evidence uh, in an investigation that somebody had a reason to do so, right? So let's just say somebody was in debt and they stole $100,000, God forbid, but just for circumstances and circumstantial uh, reasons, right, here in spiritual court. Uh, they would have to prove, okay, this would be the reason that this person would commit this crime because of debt, because they had a reason to steal or to acquire this money. You out here making your dreams come true. So somebody could have been monitoring your bank account, okay, and all your money is legit. I just heard all money in, no money out. Okay, come through. Your income is exceeding your outgo. Okay, come through. Thank you. Holy Spirit. Attitudes of gratitude, I just heard. Whatever this is, somebody's getting caught up. They wanted to include you in something that, yeah, you're manifesting. You're a master manifester. I just heard you got on an alchemist outfit, honey, out here looking real good, shielded from whatever this bullshit is, and the universe is backing you, okay? Clarify forging the documents. Who forged some documents? A king of pentacles. Here we go right here, Capricorn energy. There's a king of pentacles out here that forged some type of documents to acquire some type of wealth or something from you, okay? Illegal, illegally, okay. Capricorn energy, king of pentacles in the reverse is somebody greedy, overindulgent, uh, it's never enough. You know, insatiable desire for material gain, uh, you know, very materialistic, doesn't care who they have to cut, or, 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 or hurts in order to get what it is that they want. Very cutthroat energy, okay? This is about status, wealth. Now somebody is uh, like in debt. Very stubborn behavior, very I know everything kind of behavior, not grounded. Only thinking about short-term goals, did not foresee the future that you would manifest something. I just heard investigation, though. Clarify 14 documents. Who's this Capricorn person? Who's this person? The chariot. They're going to jail. Cancerian energy. But the chariot represents forging documents. Like somebody's ass is getting picked up from their house, honey. This is like big investigation. Somebody's been watching somebody for some time now. Clarify forging the documents in the chariot with the king of pentacles in the reverse. Temperance. Somebody's praying. For mercy and grace. Somebody's birthday could be in December. December Capricorn. Somebody's birthday could be December 26th, 27th. 
Huh. Yeah, somebody has to give you something. What is this? Clarify this King of Pentacles in the reverse. What's going on here, Spirit? But somebody's seeing you as self-sufficient. Yeah, they missed an opportunity. I just heard, why would you steal from somebody that would have given you everything? So somebody was just greedy. Somebody just felt they were going to cut you out. They could have collaborated with somebody else. I just heard another earth sign. The sun, you're out here happy. Okay, whatever this was that was stolen from you, you didn't, maybe you didn't, maybe you weren't aware of it. This is something that was done in the past. Okay. Show me this King of Pentacles current energy, Four of Cups. What's going on with this King of Pentacles? Child, I cannot make this up. Three of Swords in the reverse. Somebody was supposed to heal something with you. Somebody was very greedy, very negligent, okay? King of Pentacles is usually uh, somebody committed in the upright. You know, they're very, an upstanding guy or woman. Somebody was very negligent. Somebody was not fair. Diabolical energy, very greedy, very negative, uh, very stubborn energy. Told to stop, didn't want to stop. 838 on the clock. Clarify this Capricorn in the reverse. The lovers. This could have been somebody that you divorced from, okay? The lovers, Gemini energy. There's some type of separation or a divorce, and somebody was doing something. Uh, I just heard doing something without thinking. Queen of Pentacles and the upright. Somebody tried to take your abundance. They're watching you make your dreams come true. Somebody didn't think that you were going to overcome some type of clarify this. Holy Spirit, what's going on here? Yeah, somebody didn't think that you were going to make your dreams come true after some type of a divorce. Somebody could have left you with nothing. Uh, whatever this is, they were doing something behind the scenes. Whether you were aware of this or not, something involved your identity. This could be a husband, an ex-husband with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? And the Three of Swords, some type of separation took place, possibly a divorce. You absolutely are divorced from this person in the spirit. That's for sure. Spirit realm is like, okay, what's good? Okay, but as far as 3D, you could have divorced from somebody, okay? Somebody took your signature, from some type of documents and try to put it on something else. They never anticipated that you would be self-sufficient. Somebody could have tried to throw you under the bus too, the fool, but you manifested a whole new outcome. The lovers, self-love, you're out here solo bolo. Somebody's been investigating you. I just heard under watch by the government, but you're coming up clean. This is beautiful energy. Clarify. This is beautiful energy for this chosen one. Whoever this is, yeah, justice, look. Whatever this is, they're watching you. They know that you're innocent. The justice system is defending you, not only in the 5D and above, but in the 3D as well. This is some type of legal issue that somebody tried to tie you to, but the time is not lining up. Like somebody could have said that you were doing something at a certain time. And so somebody investigated this to find out that that's impossible. You're independent. They're checking your bank account to see if you got weird transactions. It's like, no. You could have had an opportunity to take something. You're like, no, I'm not doing that. Somebody's straight up standing. Your character is decent. Heart posture is decent. With justice and the ace of wands, you got divine intervention. Like the higher ups, it's like here, like I don't think so. Whatever you forging over here, somebody took your signature. Or somehow took something and falsified some documents. I just heard scanning. Somebody could have taken your signature off of something and scanned your signature onto something to purchase something, to get something. Meanwhile, these investigators are watching you. You out here making your dreams come true. Ace of Wands, you could be a business owner. Okay? Something's inspired you. Whatever this is, you're doing it the right way. You got a love for it and you're taking a leap of faith. Child, what happened here? Page of Cups. Whatever this is, the Page of Cups is you getting over your emotions and getting into a relationship with Source. Period. Page of Cups represents uh, immaturity. You got over this. You left. Whatever this was, 
you created something that somebody can't take from you. Somebody can't say, oh, this person stole this or they did this or, what, or whatever this is, child. Page of Cups is making harmony with your inner child, love. You started loving on yourself. You're solo, dolo. You're not teamed up with anybody. Well, you teamed up, not in the way that somebody had anticipated. You got a whole spiritual team out here. You got the cosmos on your side. The universe is on your side. As, listen, as above, so below, as within, so without, the magician, somebody has manifested their dreams coming true. <laughs> Clarify forging the documents, child. And child. Somebody is out here crying a river, uh, crying a river. No, no, we don't want your rivers. We don't want you crying in the water. You're going to have to, uh, 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 it's a hell to the no. Not a source. They're paranoid. They're stressed. Somebody thought they had left you strapped. Who is this? You were healing in isolation, going within, creating something. Like when somebody thought you were somewhere down and out, it's a no. What did somebody do? <laughs> Clarify forging documents. 844 on the clock. Knight of Wands in the reverse. What the hell they got going on? Somebody was reckless, impulsive, passionate about taking something from you. Okay? Stubborn about it, in anger. Now they're blocked. They're suffering, energetically suffering. There's a lot of uh, universal delays for this person. Whoever that person is, it's a hell to the no. You are not me. I am not you. And we don't have no contracts. Not in the 3D or the 5D and above. Child, what is this? Four of Wands is a community. Celebrations, harmony, marriage. Okay. Yeah, you could have been married to this person. Clarify what's going on with this Knight of Wands in the reverse. Three of Pentacles, they collaborated with somebody else. Capricorn energy. They got to let go of something that belongs to you. Okay. I don't know what this is, but somebody knew about something that was coming to you and forged your name on something or they got something in your name. And you might not even know this, okay? I just heard CPN. What the hell is going on? Somebody got a fake CPN or EIN. Somebody did something under your information or something where it wouldn't get you caught up. But there's an investigator that's doing a skip trace. And there's addresses in certain states that you've never lived. And these people have been under investigation for quite some time. Somebody's hiding out. Three of Pentacles. It's collaboration. Capricorn energy, four of pentacles, big Capricorn energy. Somebody was greedy. Spirit is just saying this person was greedy, stingy, uh, very possessive over things, money, overindulging, overspending, everything in excess. You know, this person knows no moderation, whoever this person is. Yeah, clarify what's going on. And they're and they're they got the nerve. Listen, this energy is so nasty. They got the nerve to not even be wanting to admit the truth. Like what? It's like somebody's sitting there. Somebody's presenting evidence to them, showing them the tape. Sir, ma'am, raggedy ass, greedy ass, raggedy and ragamuffin ass, low vibrational ass, scallywag ass, demonic, greedy, very big devil energy. Me, 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 I, I, I type of an energy. This is you on the tape at this time. And we caught you crossing the street at this time. You know, the street camera caught you. We see that you made a transaction here. Like there is judicial system evidence. Okay. There's justice by way of 3D. The receipts and or the burdens of proof have been presented in spiritual court. Somebody's ass could be getting a door knocked down by the cops. And somebody is still lying in the face of the tape. Listen, Your Honor, Your Honor, please, Most High, please run the tape. Please. So the tape is being run and ran through. And somebody like, that ain't me. Somebody's still looking stupid. Four pentacles in the reverse. 
They ain't got no spiritual protection. They ain't got nothing back in them. Somebody was very comfortable and somebody was under examination, I just heard. Investigation for quite some time. Clarify the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Clarify the Queen of Swords. What's going on with the Queen of Swords? Forging documents. There's some type of communication. Okay, whatever this is, this is communicative energy with the Eight of Wands. That's conversation, talking about something, rapid action. Somebody could have tried to go on the run or they're on the run. With the Queen of Swords, somebody's having a conversation with what to do. Somebody that they feel is giving them good advice. Queen of Swords is somebody who's unbiased, you know. They're fair, they're just, they're independent uh, by way of they stand with the truth. They're not on anybody's side. They clearly communicate what the truth is. Because, yeah, that's just what they are. That's what they do. They embody the truth. They're the walking, breathing truth. Period. They're very direct, very forthright, very honest. They might tell you something you don't want to hear, but it'll be the truth. There's some type of communication here between somebody. And they're telling them, like, look, this is what I would do if I were you. I'm just going to tell you the truth. Do you want me to lie to you? Or do you want me to tell you the truth? The truth of the matter is your ass is up to shitter without some toilet paper, baby. Wipes, listen. Whatever. Your ass is done, son. Okay. Somebody's telling them the truth. There's communication back and forth. Clarify this communication. What's going on? Somebody could be, uh, okay, there could also be, oh, child. There could also be, uh, a January Capricorn Aquarius involved. That's not for everybody. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Leave the rest. Don't force it if it don't fit. You know, we watch these videos for shits and giggles and entertainment purposes because a lot of us at this point, we go within. So this is just confirmation. This is a piece to the puzzle by way of divine collective readings. There are other readers that could very well pick up on this. Okay. Simultaneously. Today is Saturday. Okay. Yeah. So by the time you upload this video, I just heard this is what my spirit guides are saying. By the time I upload or we upload or it uploads. This story could have already come out, but the two of wands, somebody is telling somebody that they have to make a decision on something or somebody's really going back and forth and deliberating with somebody that's giving them good advice. Somebody's really honest here. Somebody's telling them like, look, you might as well let this go because holding on to this, this could be a lawyer. Two of Wands is about choices, planning. They're like, look, either way, you got to plan what it is that you want to do. Somebody is rushing to somewhere or trying to leave. Clarify this Two of Wands and this Eight of Wands. Where are they going? What's going on, Spirit? Angels, what's going on here? Who is this person? Empress Energy, Libra and Energy. Child, somebody is rushing their ass into jail. Dumb, da da dum da dum dum da dum Boy, 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 boy. Somebody is dumb, dumb, dumb. Big air sign energy. Big Libra energy. Big Taurus energy with Empress energy. Earth energy. Knight of Swords energy. Air sign energy. There's definitely, definitely a January Capricorn here and a Gemini that could be significant. Somebody's birthday could be June 8th, June 3rd, June 2nd. Okay. Shit, anywhere in June, hell, they could be at the end of June too. Somebody could be a Cancer, Gemini, Gemini, Cancer, whatever it is. They got water and air in their chart, okay? They're going to need a little bit more than water and air, child, to deal with whatever the hell this is. But somebody's ass is going to jail. They're already in spiritual jail, so they're going through mental turmoil with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Somebody's ass is looking crazy. Somebody's getting some type of advice. Somebody's on the run, and they're going to get caught. Knight of Swords to the Eight of Swords, getting advice. Whoever this person is, they're telling them it's only a matter of time with the Two of Wands. And somebody's making a decision to, to fight and flight. But somebody's like, I'm going to fight this. And they're on the run. Taurus Energy. I feel like that's you. You're protected. Let's clarify. Clarify the Empress. Somebody could have tried to get you caught up. Yeah, you're protected. Look. You're protected. You could have been guided away from these people or the circumstances. You could have been getting a premonition, too, about somebody trying to do something to you. Child, like, share, love, and subscribe. Make this go viral in the ethers, honey, because somebody, somebody needs this clarification. 
I feel like you just needed a few of the missing pieces to the puzzle. Somebody has dreams. You could have had a dream about something. Six of Swords, and you got the hell out of Dodge right in the nick of time. Yeah, you saw through something. You saw through something. Somebody was trying to get you like uh, guilty by association and you're like, I didn't sign that. Like, what is that? Like, yeah, paying illusions, okay? So this Queen of Swords could be you seeking higher counsel with yourself. And you left, but somebody's on the run. You left casually as guided by Swords. This is an easy move. This is not running. This is not afraid. This is not in your head. This is somebody getting downloads. Empress is very grounded energy, very abundant, very nurturing. You're fertile. You're, you're doing something by way of your dreams coming true. Okay. Growth and evolution. Something about you evolving and you're healing. You're a healer. You could have left it all behind with the Six of Swords. You just moved on. Whatever this was that somebody had that belonged to you or whatever they tried to take, you let the universe have it. It's like giving, I surrender this to the universe. The universe is going to handle this. And you're still making your dreams come true. Clarify this Queen of Swords. Who's on the run? Mm. Shell. What the hell is going on? I feel like you're the real queen of swords. You're wise. You set a boundary. I'm getting a lot of duality, y'all. Just bear with me as I channel the energy. You are the real queen of swords. You're intelligent. You're insightful. There is also somebody here that thought they were smarter than you. So this person is queen of swords, right? You're the real queen of swords. I, I need to stress that because I feel like somebody thought they were smarter than you, but I also feel like somebody was giving somebody bad advice. This person could be very respected amongst this I just heard triad of a, of a corrupt ass group child. This is like a ring operation, sting operation. Somebody's door's about to get, child, this is over. Listen, whatever this is, whoever this was, this person was trying to betray somebody to get them caught up, okay? Ten of swords, this was supposed to have you done. You got the nine, I mean, the eight of swords, nine of swords, 10 of swords on top of the three of swords in the reverse. Judgment has been called. Three of pentacles, child, somebody was having a whole conversation. This could be mediation, deliberation with a lawyer, something, whatever this is, but the legal system is involved. Here you are manifesting your true desires. You're some type of an inspiration or you got inspired by something to make you and or take you on these leaps of faith the something is your higher self with the Ace of Cups, divine intervention, loving on self, okay? You got over whatever this immature energy is. You went through a full transformation with the Page of Cups and your dreams are coming true and somebody was trying to attack you and you had some type of a premonition. This could have been a real attack too. Somebody could have tried to assassinate you, I just heard, assassinate your character and or take you out so that you couldn't speak the truth Okay, I just heard the longer you're alive, the more you're illuminating what the hell actually happened. But somebody here is still lying. Somebody's still holding on to a lie. With the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, not of Wands in the reverse, and the King of Pentacles in the reverse, somebody's still lying about some money, child, that they took. Somebody couldn't get away with a damn thing. A Pisces could be significant. Could be February. Somebody's birthday's in February. So you could be a Queen of Swords. There could be a couple of people here. There's three people involved. There's a King of Pentacles, whose birthday's in December. There's a Capricorn Aquarius in January. And there is a Pisces Aquarius in February. Somebody's birthday could be February the 2nd or the 8th. Come through, Holy Spirit. Take it as it resonates. Big Piscean energy, nine of cups in the reverse. Somebody didn't get away with this. Whatever this is, they're caught up. They're done. Their goal was to betray you. Okay, if this was somebody that you showed love to or somebody was coming through as a friend, yeah, look, two of cups. This, person, this person's goal was to come in and take from you, but you you moved away. Six of swords, you got the hell up out of Dodge. You're like, I'm not associated with these people. Somebody has your information and tried to forge your name so that if they ever got caught up, they would pull your name 
What a blessing. Isn't that a blessing? You know why? Because you're over here doing the right thing. You got divine intervention, ace of wands and ace of cups. That's so beautiful that they chose the right chosen one because you're about to take down people that are straight up crazy, greedy, malicious, child, the hangman in the reverse. Somebody could have tried to sacrifice you. Somebody wanted to take you out too for some type of money. It's like when somebody realized they were about to get caught up, they could have tried to take you out. These people are stuck. They waited too long to do something at a standstill. They're stuck. They're confused. They don't know what to do, whether to jump on a plane, a train, an automobile, roller skates, baby, hoverboard, skateboard. They don't know what to do. Shout out whatever they thought they was going to do. They can't. Whatever they thought it was, it ain't. The hangman in the reverse is somebody that tried to take you out and their wishes didn't go fulfilled. Wherever this queen of swords is, people were listening to this person like this was still going to work and it didn't work. Two of wands is like making a decision, a choice. This also represents you making a decision and a choice real quick and fast too. Just as you were making a swift decision, somebody was at a standstill planning something to take you out and you moved in the nick of time. I just heard you are so many steps ahead of these people. They don't know which way to go. Clarify the hangman child and the reverse. Let the cards tell the story. Clarify the hangman in the reverse and the nine of cups in the reverse and the ten of swords with his queen of swords. What the heck is going on? Yeah, they wanted your money. This has something to do with your fortune, your destiny, your path, your... Okay, your demographic. Whenever I think about the Wheel of Fortune, I think about travel as well. I think about the world. I think about a compass. See the way that looks like, you know, a demographic, uh, a compass. Okay, what am I trying to say here? Yeah. Geographically. This could have been, uh, yeah, somebody didn't see this coming. That's all I'm going to say. The Wheel of Fortune is turning. It's fair. Mercury retrograde energy, Gemini energy, the gods are being very, very fair. Something, something was not predicted. As smart as somebody thought that they were, this was not predicted. Look, I just dropped the card and I said, as smart as somebody thought they were and the card fell in the reverse. I cannot make this up. I can't make this up. It just fell in the reverse. I'm like, damn, spirit is like, uh, uh, okay, uh, uh. I'm like, okay, divine intervention. Will of fortune. We surrender to divine intervention. Whatever the circumstance, we call down righteous justice and or judgment. Somebody could have tried to shut you up and hurt you to shut you up so you wouldn't tell something or expose them. Your dreams are coming true. Somebody knows that you have a fate of, of, uh, of luck and destiny, like good karma, y'all, like good karma. Shout out to the divine collective. Somebody didn't see this coming. Clarify this current energy. Yeah, you got a victory. Somebody wanted to win at all costs and you were winning very easily without even trying to win because you're in alignment. Yeah, you ain't got to try to live your best life. Some type of recognition, some type of public recognition. Somebody could be some type of inspiring uh, life coach or something like that. That's not for everybody. Somehow you're inspiring somebody, child. Hold on. Y'all know I got to wet my whistle. Let my whistle commercial break when i kissed your lips baby hey we fell in love i need to wet my whistle child my left hand is itching rub that money to me rub that prosperity and good luck to me you got something coming in i don't even know if you know you just out here independent it's like you're not waiting on a check. You're going after what belongs to you. And then you're just going to get something. I just heard you're not going to have to work that hard. Okay, what is this spirit? Are we hitting the lottery or what? Whatever it is, it's about to be a tower for whoever these people are that thought that they was going to do this to you and betray you. Somebody could have even tried to go so far as to put a hit out on you to stop you from telling or testifying. Child. And they were being investigated. Okay. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. mm 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 Tried to get you caught up. I just heard guilty by association. Child, a fly just came in out of nowhere. Monitoring spirits. So somebody want to know what it is, child? They should have monitored this damn tower that they got coming. Why they over here monitoring us? 
shut. It's no windows open. I don't have no flies in my house. My house is super clean. You can eat off my floor. Listen, that fly came out of nowhere, boo. I spy, we spy. Somebody was being monitored, child, too busy watching you, not knowing that they were being watched. Yeah, look, you intuitively felt it. Something guided you away. You said, you know what? I feel like lightning's about to strike. I'm going to get out of the way. You were lovingly guided by your beautiful spirit team. You are the high priestess. Child, it's a victory. Some type of victory for you. Clarify what's going on, Holy Spirit. Yeah, child, I cannot. Where is this money coming from? Spirit? Come on. And my hand was itching. Okay. Okay. So what? what's good? Okay. I include myself in all of the divine collective good readings. Look, all the good ones I include myself in. Listen. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Some type of unexpected money is coming. This is a whole bunch of money. I just heard you're not going to have to work so hard. Like this is your justice. This is your karma. Clarify that Ace of Pentacles. These people did a lot. It's coming in and they're, they're child, listen, I cannot. I can. I'm, I'm not going to say I cannot. I can do the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is I, it's we, it's us. Will of Fortune is us, it's we, it's us. Empress, High Priestess, Energy. Listen, Spirit says what I'm saying is the truth, honey. Period. 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 Exclamation point. Question mark for whoever need to ask a question. The universe is giving out answers. This is the best time to ask what is going on. Three of Cups. Being in a celebratory energy, this is something to celebrate coming in, and it's coming in real fast. Child, something could be real significant about the month of July, July 3rd, July 6th. Somebody could be trying to relocate because the truth is coming out. Show me this person who's trying to relocate. What's going on? What are, what, what's going on with them? Yeah, they're walking away. There, somebody's on the run for something. You got people going every which way but the right way, whoever those people are, okay? Some people going this way, some people going that way, some people walking away. This person has to abandon something for something that they did. I feel like I need to do a whole reading on this person. Whoever this person is in this Eight of Cups, this is one of the people in something. Somebody could have tried to put a hit out on you and was under investigation. Yeah, Ten of Wands, and they still lying. The truth ain't in them. This is the kind of person looking right in your face and be like, uh, 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 I didn't do that. Child, we got you on tape, boo. We got text messages. We got emails. We got, like, what are you talking about? Laser beams. We've been watching you, boo. Okay, you're done. Eight of Cups and um, somebody's having to go away. Child, what is going on? Yeah, you're coming up as a sweetheart. Queen of Cups, very caring, loving, kind, psychic, intuitive. You could be some type of an inspiration to people, guru, or you just caring. You're just carrying a caring and loving energy. Like, love is what you do. That's your, that's your energy. It's real. Your heart is beautiful. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's getting some bad news. Page of Swords. Somebody is getting some bad news. Somebody was giving some bad advice. They're very deceptive. They're very manipulative. Uh, they did something in haste. They're all talk and did not anticipate that this shit would be them planning their own demise. Very haphazard energy, okay? haphazard actions i just heard something about their living circumstance okay somebody could be getting evicted or the police are coming to their house or something's happening with their house child i don't know what's going on because the eight of cups is like them having to go away ten of pentacles something to do with some money somebody wanted some money somebody wanted your money they was gonna take it from you you stood in your power king of cups somebody got a father figure grandfather somebody that is protecting them in the spirit realm. And this father figure is like, I don't think so. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is like family, marriage, wealth. Uh, notice how these people are in an archway, new home. Somebody could be getting a new home or something involving property, real estate. Whatever this is, it's big. And it's coming in. Like the universe is closing it out with the world. Like nothing can stop it. It's too far up for any of these low 
vibrational bottom feeders to even reach it. Child, these people's arms are too short to box with God. Okay, I just had to get that in there. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to put a shield of protection. Please keep me grounded. Call my energy back from this reading and close the door, but please give me one final card for the Divine Collective. Somebody's ass is getting caught all the way up. Yeah, look, this fell right on top of the Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Boo, you got some type of abundance coming in. Okay, let's just take it as it resonates, my beautiful Ascended Master, Soul Tribe family. Queen of Pentacles is somebody self-sufficient, very well grounded. The universe is giving you exactly what you deserve. Unexpected income, a windfall of money, lady luck, lady guy, lucky guy type of an energy, divine masculine feminine energy. Do you have to be an earth sign? Okay, well, no, but you're all the signs. So you are the queen of pentacles by way of energy. You're breeding success and you're breeding obedience. You are breathing something by way of being decent and in order. And it's all coming to you. Somebody's on the run though, trying to run from something, child. I don't know what the hell they doing. This person could be having some type of mental breakdown behind the scenes. Yeah. I'm smelling spell work, but I'm gonna just leave that out of here. They're trying to transmute some type of energy. Maybe they feel like if they leave, they could get away from something they did. Yeah, five, five of wands. This is all about jealousy, being better than you, coming up off of your name, your energy, whatever this is. One more card, Spirit. I know I said that I was going to pull all my energy back. But did this person do spell work too? I just feel like somebody's running from a whole lot more than just forging documents and stealing and fraud. And what happened? Did somebody steal? I mean, not steal. We know they stole. 909, child. Nine represents Oya. Ooh, child. Five of Pentacles. I just heard they're going to have to give back everything they stole. They're about to lose it all. They took something from somebody. Did this person do spell work? Yeah, they did. Somebody did some type of spell work, creating some type of an illusion. Even if they're just a manipulator and a liar, they wanted some type of an outcome. Yeah, here you go, right here, the Hierophant. I can't make this shit up. I can't make it up. Somebody did magic. Somebody's a manipulator. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Somebody did some type of magic as well on top of scamming. It's like a narcissist who, who knows how to do magic. Oh, that's a dangerous combination. Yeah, it's a horrible energy to be addicted to. We rebuke it naturally. You know, my energetic field repels that energy and transmutes it into love and light, okay? Because they can't do nothing with the energy. They're lost. They've been exposed. So we might as well take it and just turn it into something good to be used for all of humanity. 910. Child, one number away from 911. Somebody did magic too. I just heard their whole reputation. Like when y'all find this out, you're going to be like, what? Whoever you are, maybe this person, I don't know what's going on, but whatever it is, when you find out who this is, you're going to be like, oh, what? Like that type of an energy. Like somebody's presenting themselves to be the Hierophant, somebody very awakened, kind. No, they're a crook. Somebody is like scamming, scheming, cash apping, stealing monetization, something weird like that. Something weird. These could be your hackers. Okay, these people that's been doing hacking stuff, like they're under investigation. They got IP addresses and everything and somebody's on the run. Eight of Cups, they trying to pack up real quick. Somebody could be packing up and leaving everything behind, but what they don't understand is the police is right outside the door. So what you packing up, boo? You can't take none of this to your jail cell? <laughs> Clarify the hierophone. Yeah. Somebody, somebody can't, listen, somebody can't fight the truth. The truth is out, period. There's too much evidence on what somebody did with the five of swords in the reverse. Somebody can't fight this in court, spiritual court. They can't lie about it. There's nothing that they can do to get out of it. Somebody wants your forgiveness? Damn, it's over though. 
they just knocking on the door and yeah it's like yeah love don't live here boo boo i don't know what they looking for but they want your forgiveness somebody did this to a really nice person trying to get you crossed up and, and crossed out then they went so far as to try to put a hit out on you or get somebody to hurt you or pay somebody to do something. I feel like this is going to make the news. I just heard no, not yet. I just heard the spiritual community. So the spiritual community could already be predicting this. So this person's in spiritual court. But the 3D world for them is five of pentacles. Somebody's losing it all. They're in lack. They could have wanted this for you. It's over. Somebody's begging to forgive them. Just a vacancy. Somebody could be vacating their premises. I just heard just a vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. Clarify what's going on. They're losing a fight. Clarify. Yeah, it's over. It's over. This is their true nature. This is a dark practitioner. Could have been collaborating with a Capricorn. A couple of people, at least three people were collaborating. Somebody's scared. The Hierophant and the Capricorn energy Obsessed. Somebody was obsessed with taking somebody down, taking something from them, or all of the above. Listen, clarify the devil, child. I kept saying it's the last card, and it's been, but I gotta be obedient to spirit. Yeah, look, you're coming up. This fell right on top of the Empress. You're coming up as a King of Cups, caring, loving, kind, great emotional posture, very smart, emotionally intelligent, emotionally balanced, compassionate. Like true, true heart space is like beautiful. Empathetic and tolerant. Any sign can be the King of Cups. Child of Two of Cups, Six of Cups, and Ten of Cups came up. Somebody tried to do something over a partnership. Like somebody, somebody needs to get, like for real, like all jokes aside, some type of mental help. Whatever they conjured up, they're unable to get rid of it. Okay? Who is the practitioner? I feel like the practitioner left this person out in the cold. Yeah. Wherever this Capricorn Sagittarius is, child, they looking crazy. There's a broken home. There's like somebody getting evicted out of a home. The police are on their ass. They got a lot going on. The nine of wands, okay? The practitioner is paranoid. They all getting caught up. Somebody feels left behind. Look, I can't make this up. The emperor... In a reverse, somebody that was very negligent, controlling, big fire sign energy, Capricorn energy, Aries energy. Somebody is very dominating, controlling. They lack discipline. They're greedy. They're just all over the place. Yeah. Somebody kept doing something with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, they were persistent. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to make. And they're falling apart. Like life is falling apart. Okay. And they're still trying to do something that is absolutely not working out. This was a bad investment. Six of Pentacles in the reverse is thievery. Be that energetically, financially, literally, all of the above, whatever it is. This is a horrible investment. Somebody didn't reap a damn thing. Now they out here looking crazy trying to make a dollar out of 15 dog um, cents to even say they have that. Somebody could have a negative 15 cents. I don't laugh at poverty, but this type of shit I laugh at because somebody had something and it wasn't enough. And they wanted to take something that belonged to you. This, people could, this person could have sent people towards you to befriend you, get close to you. These people were supposed to take you out to the swords. Somebody was watching all of it. The legal system, the black magic, the everything. Somebody's in debt to the practitioner. <laughs> you 
you still owe the practitioner? Well, where you're going, you're not going to need any money. <laughs> somebody did something over and over and over. Spirit is telling me six of cups and nine of wands is somebody that was consistent, insistent, going to make something happen, going to make it happen. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. This is also some type of magic too. This is some type of diabolical ass creature with the devil and the hierophant. Somebody's ass was working diligently to bring about some type of reality. They were greedy, greedy for your energy, greedy for your ability to manifest, your partnership, whatever this is. And child, somebody even went so far as to send in a scammer that was supposed to get close to you and take you out. Somebody wanted to annihilate you, eliminate you. Somebody had a plan. I just heard insurance policies. The sun is here. You illuminated it. Queen of Cups, you saw this coming. You saw it. You're psychic. King of Cups to the Queen of Cups, you're psychic. Yep, they tried to confuse you. Two of Swords, child, bye. Bye. Mm-mm. Death. Somebody wanted endings for you. Now they're weighed down. Ten of Wands. So they're eating, they're eating bad karma for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they're also going through some shit in the 3D child where li their life is just in shambles. The rent is late. They ain't got the money. Something. Somebody got caught stealing something. Anything else we need to see? Angels, beautiful ascended masters. Please keep me in an unbiased energy. 919. That's all y'all's number, child. Death could be coming for somebody. Did somebody conjure up death on somebody? Ooh, child. Okay. Well, gotta go. Didn't I just show y'all the tower? And Spirit was like, I said what I said. I'm like, okay, Spirit. <laughs> I shuffled it like, oh no, forget it. We're just going to put it in there. And if it comes out, child, this tower's in the reverse. You over here loving on yourself. You dodged the tower by way of loving on yourself, minding your business, getting to your spiritual bag, focused on something that has you inspired, taking a leap of faith, moving when spirit told you to move, you could have moved, relocated. Whatever this is, you were on point. You were obedient and somebody is so mad that you're so tapped in. It's a tower in the reverse. This is current energy right now. Somebody could have been attempting to do something as we were doing this reading. This is what Spirit is saying. You're some type of inspiration, a star, Aquarius energy. Okay. Spirit guide, I just heard. You give people hope. You bring calmness in the middle of situations that are chaotic. Somebody tried to take you out, tried, attempted, and failed numerous times, and they went so far as to do something illegally. Some type of death contract that they signed, something that they wanted, the star. You could be in the public eye. Child, you're inspiring somebody. Somebody is paranoid. Somebody looking around. Shit is hitting the roof. Spirits is running up and through their house. They ain't got no spiritual protection. They ain't got no protection. Child, they've been watched. Somebody thought that they were just everything in the spirit realm by way of doing, look, I can't make this up. Something with their house. Four of wands in the start. Look, you're over here getting exactly what you want. So while you're getting a new house, somebody is about to be outside. Not on purpose. Okay? Okay. Not because they want to be, but they about to be outside. Child. Outside of the blessing. Outside of the realm of, of, of love and grace. Somebody's falling from grace. They're praying with temperance. They're praying. Whew. But you got something coming in, Divine Collective. I don't know what this is. This could be just something that you do for work, okay? Whatever this is, it's taking off. You're inspiring people, okay? Just by minding your business, you're being a great example of what it looks like to be love and light. I could say to you all day long, love and light, right? At least I'd be an example of what that looks like. Somebody's a beautiful example, example excuse me, divine collective of what peace, love, and light is. You are the living word. Listen, I just heard you don't just say it. You're about that. You're about that life. Child, when ain't nobody watching, people better get your life. Somebody better get their life. I feel like it's a little too late to get anything. Okay. Whatever they getting up out of this, it's a hardcore ass, ass whooping from the universe ass lesson. Child, I just heard heart palpitations and chest pains. 
somebody's whole life in a day is turned upside down behind some shit and they could have tried to hurry up and move and now they're getting caught up it's like somebody's trying to 9 22 on the clock i can't make it up something's coming into alignment for the divine collective keep your heart posture right and i feel like that's what we're doing like this is not malicious intent like really growing inside out outside in and everything is lining up somebody could be getting caught up trying to relocate and they're gonna get caught it's like they know that something's coming and they're trying to run from it on a spiritual level but it's attached to them Shall they got the police waiting for them and the demons i just heard the spiritual police because your ancestors are moving things around to make things spiritually copacetic. This is a good example, okay, by way of the worst circumstances of not to mess with somebody that you don't know what's backing them. Leave people alone. Leave them alone. I always say, you see a regular schmegular. I used to get that a lot, you know, when I was younger, y'all. I think, I, do I still get that now? I don't know. I can't tell you if I do or I don't. I'm sure I could check, but I don't give a damn. But I used to get, <laughs> I used to get people like, because I would be real quiet, you know, and I would always get people that thought I was weak, and I would be real quiet for a long time. Like it took me a long time to get angry. I just didn't like adversity. I didn't understand it. I'm like, fight for what? I don't wanna, like I was younger, I just, it never made sense to me. I'm like, fight for what? I'm just minding my business. Like I'd be quiet, you know what I mean? I was always, you know, a girly girl, but a tomboy at the same time. Child, I'd have my nails done, an uh, cute little dress and be climbing a tree to pick fruit. In Compton, we had fruit trees. Child, I would be cute in my little jellies. Y'all remember jellies, the sandals that make your toes sweat? Child, I used to paint my toes every day. I was like nine years old. I was so prissy. My hair was so long. And I would get, oh, you cute to be dark. Child, you don't shut the hell up. I'm cute to be a star. Listen. Because <laughs> people would see my mother and be like, that's your mother? That's your mother? You know, my mom is biracial. Child, get up out of here. We don't do the color thing. We don't do, I'm lighter and darker than a brown paper bag, boo. We black. We love. That's just what it is. I look at your spirit and your soul. But I used to always get that. And then I would get people that would want to test me. But once I was tired and they backed me into a corner, child, the devil would run. They'd be like, damn, what the hell? Because I was so quiet. My eyes were so big. I would just be like looking at them like, please don't bother me. They'd be like, yeah, she's scared. Yeah, she's scared. Child, I remember one time I, some girls tried to jump me and I knew today was the day. I woke up. I said, what? I didn't know what was going to happen, but I knew I wasn't going to take another BS ass, energetic ass, ass beating because I kept letting it go and letting it go. Just being quiet, minding my business, being quiet, minding my business, being, child, I went off so bad. You know, sometimes you just got to make an example <laughs> and then nobody bothered me after that. They're like, oh shit. <laughs> well. The funny part to the story is that that would continue to happen to me throughout my life, my college years, you know what I mean? 99.9% .9 of the time, y'all, I'm happy. Like, for real, for real, some real shit. Like, that's really who I am. I can't fake when I'm happy. I can't. Uh-uh. You know, some people look like they happy, they not. No, if you see me laughing, damn it, I'm really laughing. It's all good. But if I'm not and I'm quiet, ain't nothing wrong, just leave me alone. Watch yourself, don't watch me. Listen. <laughs> but that was always my thing and I'd come in the room and I would have girls right off the rip I don't like her I didn't give a damn child I'd be dancing and oh I didn't tell y'all I could dance huh okay yeah I'd be dancing child I used to go to reggae clubs and shut it down you understand me listen they'd be like who was that who was that who was that child I should have been a dancer, should have been a singer, but then I realized I didn't really like Hollywood. It was full of shit, y'all. I'm so glad I didn't get caught up. I'm so glad that I waited to showcase my talents, that I trusted in the divine. Because back then and even now, they wanted you to sell your soul, you know? But I used to always get the reggae clubs and they'd be on the, on the speaker and they'd be like, who is the girl dancing? They'd be like, where are you from? I'm like, child, I'm from here, there, a little bit everywhere. And I would never dance with anybody. I would always dance with the old ass man. Because <laughs> he was the most respectful. 
Okay, that's just a random story about meth. <laughs> I'll tell you more later. Shout out to the people that wanted to hear that story. Shout out to the people that, you know, clicked off the channel. I guess that was our time together. But yeah, stop judging a book by its cover. I'm still like that. I take a real long time though before I got to drag somebody. Like, child, it'd be a long time. I just look at them first and I see the pain and the hurt. I'd be like, listen here, little tink tink, little stink stink, little fink fink. Please have a seat. Then I pray for them. I send them love and light. If my love and light returns to me, then that means there's no love and light there because you did nothing with the love that I put in your cup because I don't have any reasons not to like you. That's not my nature. But I do hate evil for no reason, displaced anger for no reason. Like, bitch, you just mad for nothing? Or is something that you mad about and you don't want to fix what the something is? Like, you're not about to take a dump on me. Go fix yourself, okay? That's my attitude, listen. Let's get a little bit more. That was a long ass commercial break. Let's just see what's going on since we're still on the video. Shout out to the people that are still here. Let's get into it. Current energy on this weird ass person or whoever the hell they are, the Odisha are whooping ass. Somebody could have made some type of offering to the Odisha. Okay, they didn't know that the Orisha rock and roll with you, my friend. Something about Ifa and Santaria. They could be praying right now, begging, offering to Shango or something. Child, the karma is driving them crazy. There's an Aries that's real significant. You could be an Aries. They could be an Aries. Somebody thought that you were new to the spiritual game. But remember, the emperor came up in the reverse, okay? So some type of leader, okay? If, you, if this is not an Aries, it's a leader, the head of something. Fake twin flames. You got a fake ass, karmic ass lover that was trying to do something to you too. And, you, and this person's a part of some type of a cult and they're obsessed with your gifts and how you do something. So they continue to, I just heard, dig a hole for themselves and dig a grave for themselves. Child, this could have been a whole community that you took down. Ooh, child. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, New Orleans, Louisiana is significant. Somebody could have gone there to get some type of spiritual work done on you. Mental issues. Somebody is losing it. You got a divine soulmate contract that's coming in, and this is also setting some type of divine uh, order. Like, when divine contracts come in, it commands order in all aspects of your life. Be this a love relationship, divine soulmate, for a lover, a business partner, friend, it is a divine soulmate, meaning divine is the key word. The soul of this contract is protected by the divine. So anything trying to come up against that, anybody trying to manipulate energy or make some type of offering or do something wrong to you, child, the universe is like, no, you don't. This is soul tribe energy. This person has contracts with their soul tribe, soul mates, more than one. We got a whole bunch of soul mates. I got a whole bunch of soul mates in the comments. Shout out soul mates. Hey, love. Hey, boo. I love you. You love me. You're a part of my Soul Tribe family tree. I love y'all. This does conclude the reading. Like, share, love, and subscribe. Final message, you make these people feel dumb as hell. Okay, just for shits and giggles. Somebody's not shitting. Somebody's not giggling. They could be constipated full of shit, child. Woo, they need to let it go. I think you better let it go. Let it go, baby. Looks like another love TKO. Teddy Pendergrass could be significant. <laughs> you know what happened to Teddy. Okay, I gotta go, y'all. I love y'all. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, as always, peace be with you.